welcome to Rugged and Redeemed. We are feeding the goats. Like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever. And there's Tucker. <laughs> Rambo, go! Crazy is good. It wasn't a good crazy. Crazy is good. <laughs> Hello. These bitty boxes I built a while back in uh, one of our first videos. This uh, pans I made to slide in and out for cleaning works great, except for when you want to clean them with animals in there. You have to do something with animals while you're pulling these out to clean them. So we had to do some redesigning and figure that out because that ain't going to work. Too. It works, but it's not ideal. So, I got some hardware cloth, some one buys, and made this little rack right here. And used hardware cloth because the baby chicks have, you know, small feet fall through this one inch. 
by a one inch uh, wire. So that's probably stronger stuff, but this will last a long time. But now when the biddies are in there, they'll walk on this and uh, not in the shavings, which will keep it lasting longer too. Cause it'll just be their poop falling through. And then when the, you got removed animals, you just slide that out to change it if you need in between feedings. And the best part is you ain't got to worry about them getting shavings in their feeding water no more. And sawdust, whatever else, which some people don't worry about. You know, got to remember to keep your water over as far away from your heat lamp as you can. Because you don't want that water getting hot. Because if they get hot, they're going to go to water and it needs to be cool so they can cool off. Which you can, uh, you can look up on to tell if your birds are too hot too cold or whatnot by the way they hang out in uh, your little brooder box like if they're all bunched up under the light in a big pile as tight as they can get they're probably too cold so either your lamps not you ain't got the right kind of you know a hot enough heat lamp which if you're using one of them red what are they 250 watt bulbs so. they're usually plenty hot enough but it might be too far away you need to adjust it which i got i made my own little thing here with keyless fixtures to where like that so it just stays that height and they got a big enough space like that so if they get too hot they can move over here and cool off but we want to leave this hot bright light on them for about a week depending on your temperatures outside uh with warmer weather you know you don't need that hot light on about a week or so when they get good and fluffy and all that and then you can put a regular old 100 watt light bulb in there like that up there we'll screw that in that thing there and take that bulb out and that's plenty enough heat for them and really they only need it at night time after about probably like three weeks they don't even need that light during the day during warm temperatures and it also helps them get more used to the outdoors climate before you uh take them out of the room and then eventually they'll be never no light at all before we actually move them after probably five weeks they won't even have a light and they've pretty much got their feathers by then anyway so they'll be just about ready to move somewhere around there so that's our plan there but anyways yeah if they're bunched up real close they're too hot move your light away or more than likely if they're little birds if they're old birds are all bunched up or what I, I done said that wrong if they're all bunched up they're too cold yeah <laughs> they're too cold your light's too far away uh you gotta move it closer or you need a hotter bulb if they're all spread out when they're sleeping i'm not talking about moving around eating and all that when they're, if they're all spread out late everywhere they're too hot your bulbs either too hot or too close you need to move it away from them or up higher off. or turn it off and if it's hot outside you know if it's you know in the 80s and 90s they don't need a heat lamp that size even as new babies you can get away with a lighter bulb because it's hot outside you ain't got to warm everything up and if you see them all huddled together over to one side then you need to start looking for a draft like if we left that door open and it was a 30 degree night and the wind's blowing hard and the wind could blow through here with this open front and the wind blows through here they're going to huddle over to away from that wind so that means you might have a draft somewhere you need to you know check it out maybe that's why we have a door so we can keep it closed to keep these the new biddies as warm as possible when they get bigger it ain't no problem leave that door open so it can get air which our barn ain't airtight of course it's never good to have it airtight when you're animals because they need uh it needs ventilation and everything because of the smells and different things but that's that that's our new contraption we're going to try it out which i don't see why it wouldn't work show them our biddies 100 oh this is our new biddies we just got we got see them all bunched up in one spot like this because they've been out of the heat lamp and they're ain't but a couple of days old and they're probably cold just sitting in this bucket but they've only been in there about 10 minutes maybe so they'll be fine it's warm out today it ain't too cold but we got 10 um of the uh black sex links are gonna be our egg layers and then we just got uh they're a high production egg layer and then we got four of these easter eggers um 
just to put a little bit of color in our eggs to have a little diverse you know different colors in there but snake <laughs> I ain't sure about that wire under their feet yet, are they? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and bye, love.